Hello, my beautiful goddesses, my divine angels, welcome to this live stream. So excited to channel what's coming up for you here today. Hello, Carrie Fing Games. Say hi. Welcome to the house. Ooh, today, oh my god, I am going to be exposing my heart and soul open here and open channel for you because it's like, you know, maybe you can resonate to something like it. It's like your heart is like wanting to express something that you just can't put your words onto what is it it is exactly but there is something something within your heart something within your mouth it's like you want to express and for me i i have been feeling this like especially with the shifts that i have been doing and my work that i've been doing like within myself lately i share it on my stories and then there's something that is like new and something about to rebirth and I just can't put my words into what it is so I'm just going to just channel out the here I'm going to be an open channel and it's so interesting because because even when I just like do some poses and then post on Instagram make some reels do some poses write captions but even then it's like my heart and my soul is saying like no something even more expansive has to be out there your energy is like about to open into something so i just have to be here and all of you here right now watching you and you know when you're watching this like it doesn't even matter what it is exactly that i'm about to channel but it is the energy in itself that i'm coming here for you like it is this like open expression it's it's not even the words that you can say exactly in human language on what it is but it is like through your body you can just receive it i don't i don't know if you can feel it right now but we're going to go into that a little more on how you can also access that part within yourself as well like everyone every single soul on this planet like you have this imprint that you're here to express something that is like so unique and so magical and that is what you entrepreneurs are doing like you are expressing that you get this like perm you know you you give yourself this permission to do this but then most of are most of us what's happening is that the human mind comes in and the human mind is like no you're supposed to do this that's this is not what other people have done you know just look at other successful people look at what they've done and then just copy just do whatever things that they've been doing like uh, and therefore we block ourselves from expressing that is wanting to be birthed within so that is what I wanted to channel through. And right now, like even right now, sometimes the circumstances in life will not be perfect. Like right now, for example, the Instagram filter is not working. I tried so many things. I tried reinstalling, installing and all that thing. But then the universe is like, nope, you're just going to express here. It's because for, for the souls who are watching it, for the souls who are connected to this moment and connected to me, like when we are, you know, together, it all of that, the visuals things don't even matter because the energy that I'm speaking and when you are speaking, when you're expressing that energy too, like in your daily life, it is what that, it is the thing that will touch. It is the thing that will be deeply felt in the people that who receive you as well. So I wanted to come on here with this. And honestly, before I made a live stream earlier today too, like my soul was like, okay, I let me just talk. Let me just express this new energy of like, you know, how you all are this divine creator that every moment you have this ability to create and how, you know, there is, you don't have to be in the autopilot for how you have been doing, how you have been working from day to day, like doing, 
your morning routine or being in that consistent routine, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is you have the ability to create. Like I was speaking about that for 15 minutes and and my human mind is like, uh, wait, you just spoke the same, like it's like you were just speaking something and then it just took 15 minutes and the human is like, nope. But then here I am, even when I just discarded that video, but my soul is like, nope, something needs to be channeled so here I am and I wanted to share with you how you can access to this potent energy too. And then once you're in that expression mode, all you just got to do is you, you, it's not even with a plan. Like it's not even with a plan. Like, okay, on today's life, I'm going to speak about the, 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 no, it's not that. It's just that your energy is communicating and then you're just allowing yourself like, allowing that you are just being in your zone being in touch with your body and then that is that gets spoken through and i wanted to share with you this one powerful practice that i did that absolutely shifted me like just it just brought this new energy in my body and it's like i'm even feeling it right now today it's like i want to show up on life like every single day now and I share, and I'll share with you how that potent energy is coming through. Hello, Terry. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, after this sharing this practice, um, I will also get into like, you know, doing some readings on you, like what your soul is wanting and desiring and all that thing. So yeah, let me first go over how you can also access to this like energy in your soul. I like how you're putting out there. It is so powerful. Thank you so much, goddess, goddess. Thank you, yes. And everything that you see in me, like everything that you see in me, like when you say it is powerful, it's because you are also within you, like all aspect of you. Every cell within your body, they are so, so powerful as well. That is what I'm feeling from you too, <laughs> love. And yeah, what I did yesterday, and I might even create a meditation out there uh, for you, like uh, the practice, I'll put it out there. But what I did essentially was this experience called body waska. So I don't know if you've heard of this, but there's this like plant medicine called like ayahuasca. I have never taken it myself. But I've heard of people who have taken it and how that has been like so life changing on them. How they say that uh, they feel like once they take it, it's like they their body becomes dead. And it's like they all see some some of some people may experience like aliens, some people may experience like those divine beings like assisting them into uh, you know, seeing their entire life and then how they see all the blind spots that they have been operating in their whole lives. Like how, you know, they have been playing into their fears. They have been trapped by this shadow and like it gives you a new perspective of how it is like to be when you die. So yesterday, I didn't do that plan exactly, but what I did was kind of like a similar thing that I just did and I know you can do that too like you can do have this like it's a scary moment but ooh, it was powerful so what I did was I went out to nature and then when you're like you can you can also use your body to assist with that and that is why I call that the body waska so what I did essentially was I was sitting out there and then like doing this practice where I just visualize the energy flowing from through the ground and then you know especially because not right now it is like fall moment like you can feel this like icy like a little bit more cooler this more water and air like that type of energy underneath your feet and so like I took my my footwear out there and I walked out there and I just sat near the ground near the tr near a tree and I visualized like I 
tap into that practice where I like walk through all my chakras from like the root to the crown and then I worked on from from top to the crown to the bottom using the cosmic energy from the sky and then what I did was I was like okay I I don't know why I don't know why but something is like I need to experience how it's like to die and so what I did was before all of that, I did a protection onto myself because, you know, sometimes like uh, it can sound uh, kind of morbid that even when just be like, oh, like that is something that people are not willing to experience through. Like the ego mind is like really scared of death. The ego mind is scared of just things ending. Like, so we never get to, ex we never experience that. But the real spiritual breakthrough happens when we are okay with all the things falling apart all the things like all the pain in within us it's like it's coming here all the shadows have been exposed but then the real spiritual breakthrough and the real power within us comes when we form a relationship with that and we learn to love it so that was why what made it so powerful was i i some i don't know where that thought came through but I did this. So what I went through was I first, before, before going a moment like that, what I would advise everyone who's like also going through a similar moment is that I would first allow yourself to be protected. So I would visualize myself, you know, having a golden ball of light or white light protecting you. And then what I did was I used journal because that is my healing modality. That is something that you know really works for me. That is how my soul came through within all my past experience before I've experienced that. And maybe it could be something different for you. Maybe for you, it could be something different. Like it could be you speaking out loud. You speaking out loud and you channeling the spirit. Like you channeling in your mouth. Like and maybe you recording it. Okay, there's an airplane or going there. <laughs> so there's the sound. Maybe that could be for you. Or maybe for someone else, that could be a movement. Like you're just laying out there on the ground, on the, like pretending that you're dead. Like for someone who is like kinesthetic, you know, you need to like act it out. Act it out, act out that it happens. So it could be different ones for for different people. For some, it could just be like just pure meditation and visualization. So for me, it was like journaling and visualization. So first, see that protection around you, that globe around you. And then what I what you would essentially do is like writing down that date, okay, making this like even creepier. <laughs> So I would visualize, I would see myself, I would write that down, that pretend that I was dead. So I would say, oh, on this date and date, at that time, Scarlett Lynn Ladd, or my real name, Chemi Lynn Ladd, was dead, was found dead near this tree. <laughs> but just write it down. I know it sounds completely insane, like hearing, like, I don't know what you know, like people, it would just like be so creepy. But what I did was like, I just let go. Like I just imagine like that I just left this body like once and for all, it's a bye-bye. And so I wrote down how, you know, all the things, you know, it doesn't matter what she's been doing, what the projects she has been doing in her life, in her business, like all of that, it's all gone. And now what is she going to do? So there she is, the body laying dead. The body laying dead, you can visualize it, you can act it out. And then see your spirit. Like, and from this now onward, this is going to be like, you, you gotta guide yourself now. You gotta guide yourself now. So I would encourage yourself, you know, just write it out, record it out, or, or videotape yourself on what come through. So for me, what comes through was that I saw myself, you know, and escaping this body, like leaving this body once and for all. And then I saw myself floating out in the sky, looking down back at my body. I'm like, uh oh, bye bye. All the things that you, you, you were postponing, 
you know, all the things that you say, oh, I'll just do it later. It's okay. I wanted to go live and talk and connect with people, but it's okay. I'll only do that when I have uh, 10,000 followers or I'll only do that when, you know, the things get right, all that thing. Like you see the human mind that have been postponing all the things like, like later, later, later. And as a human mind, we just assume that life will continue. Like we just, we're afraid of dying. But for the human mind, we're afraid of time. And we think that you will have a tomorrow. There will be a tomorrow. It's okay. There will be tomorrow. And that's how procrastination happens. And people say that people are like, it's okay. Um, I, I'm just on an autopilot, like doing the things that I've been doing before because, you know, I cannot, I can change later. Like, so even though, and then people are living in this bland life. Going, keep it up. Thank you, love. Yes, people are going like living a life of like just plan, just like plan. And even if you have goals, you know, people are like, uh, okay, I'll achieve this. I'll achieve this like launch. I'll achieve this money. This this thing. I'll grab this. And then once you get the high, like you get the that followers, you get those clients, customers, or you get that like mm, seeing like having a high day. And then you get back back down onto the low and then like people just assume that you know that life is just like they're just numb to life they're just numb to life and somehow when you're on that experience of like oh oh, oh god all is gone then even the moments when you thought were like numbing with that you thought were boring it wasn't it was it has been a profound gift to you like you start to see that. And so what I saw, what I saw was, yes, like I saw that body laying on the ground there. And then I saw, my love, I saw, okay, I'm, you know, from now onwards, it's all your imagination now. So I would encourage yourself to do, try that for yourself and let me know what you see. And so what I just saw was, I saw that I was actually a, a light, just light. Not the things that I was thinking before, not the house that I was living, not the car that I was driving, not the followers that I have, not the client, the income that I was making in my business. I was just light. I saw myself and that was what we all, the whole planet, like sawing those little light beams coming out like when someone dies it's like the light beam is a woo, woo. and then I was returning you know seeing that like merging with the big light big big ball of like light and love and then now I started to channel I write down I write down as like you know something like an Akashic record keeper or I wrote down from the eyes of let's say the higher self or the spirit guide. It's like someone who was like guiding you, assisting you throughout this transition process. So now I don't even use I anymore because the word I itself contain, it's an, it's an ego, like it's the ego word that like separates you from everything else in this world. It's like I, I am in this little bubble and everyone else is just outside. And, and Scarlet, okay, I'm going to just not even say I anymore. Scarlet didn't even do that anymore. But what she did was that she started to channel from the perspective of the higher self who has been seeing her across all the lifetimes. And then I, I wrote down on my journal, okay, I don't want to confuse you because there are like too much, too many steps, too many pronouns. So um, I wrote down on my journal and that's what I would encourage you to do that too. So I would wrote down, okay, she was, so um, who's watching this? What goddess, may I know your name if you are watching this so that like I can also, you know, we can also go through this together, this practice together if you are open up for it. So let me know your name. So let's say, uh, okay, like for example, Scarlett died this month, this day. And then writing down it from higher self, she has been doing blank, blank, blank. You can say any, anything like, 
all the fears that have been keeping you safe, that have been keeping you just in the small place, that have been keeping you like doing the same old thing over and over again and not allowing you to experience something new just because of that fear. Like write down, write down from that place of higher self, from the lens of it. Like, what has she been doing? So for example, for me, what I saw was higher self said, uh, Chen Ye, um, yes, she wanted to speak about more of the soul and more of, you know, her ascension journey and more of like feeling bliss in the body. And she wanted to do that. However, what kept her from, from being so bold out there was the fact that her she was stuck in her her old identity of being a fitness coach she was stuck in her old identity and that's not that's not just me like that's you know a lot of humans are or like we're keeping ourselves in a one own ident one identity and we're afraid of exploring something that is new something that is actually beyond that is who we are our identity who we are is actually this expansion we can't put our mind our words and our mind to something like put our like just describe it and so what i saw was that she has been keeping playing safe just because you know in the past she saw the proof that people wanted were interested in her body offers so whenever she be, speaks out something about the soul it's kind of terrifying to her because sometimes they'll be like what if no one is like no one is listening or what if like you know no one shows up and then because of that every single day she has been kind of living in this like it's it's beautiful it's a you know a beautiful experience but like uh putting it in the that in the back seat the soul in the back seat and then also how i saw also how chenye has so much to express more than just Instagram caption and writing all of that she wants to be on life like she wants to be souls like she wants to have connection like deep deep connection you know not just with her clients but also the people who are watching like and then like helping that energy that vibe like just expand on this earth that powerful energy she wants to help in that process of this planet of like just bringing out the light but then her old identity was, okay, just as what she has been taught in this entrepreneur realm, it's all about giving value. You just need to be like, you know, just like a robot, you know, giving value, just like Google, like giving value. But more than that, like it's actually the energy, right? Only a human being, like a real soul can try and give and exchange energy. That's who we are, what we are doing all the time. And that is what she wants to do on her video. It's not just about giving value, but it's about real deep connection and giving that energy. Like when someone hears you, you know, you want to be that person who just like activates that energy within someone who was receiving you. And then that person will activate another person and then another person will activate another and another another and then we all spread out in this beautiful light that is her vision that is the vision of scarlet so what has been keeping her allowing her to say play safe so those are some old beliefs such as like okay i need to wear makeup every day to go live or maybe believes like i need to uh sometimes i don't have energy all the time all the every day to do live like all those you know like beliefs all of those they will resurface they will they're just like you know maybe you can imagine like on a lake you know they're just like gunk float they're not floating but they're like on, deep down under the surface but when you when you make like when you light up that moment of you like dying all of those beliefs they resurface up all of those shadows that you have been avoid, you have been playing safe with, they have been like kind of, they have been in your subconscious mind, they have been controlling you. But then we are afraid of committing as human beings. We are. We are afraid of committing that we are wrong. We are afraid of committing that, you know, even as an entrepreneur and even if you are a leader, especially when you're a leader, especially when you are like a coach, 
Like, you know, you're always like, it's like you're in that facade that you need to be perfect. Therefore, you are even afraid of saying that you are imperfect. But as human beings, it's okay to commit that, that we can be imperfect. And so when I induce that moment of like dying, all of that came through. And I wrote down, you know, now... I was channeling this moment of like the soul speaking with the higher self. The soul speaking with the higher self. Now it was a moment of the soul was like, the soul was like, okay, I wish that I had done this. I wish that I had done this. So what are all the things that you would wish that you had done? If you were to die, you know, if you were to die, like, what is the thing that you would highly, highly regret? And it's okay, you know, don't be hard on yourself. We all, we all can, we can't be perfect, like, all the time. And it's okay, you are always loved. You are, all, you are always safe. It doesn't matter if you decide to not pursue, you know, pers go after all out. Because... In the end, it doesn't matter because you are all light and, you know, like you are always safe. You're always safe. Because yesterday, I, before even that death moment, I came to think of it like, you know, sometimes for entrepreneurs, what keep us playing uh, from playing big is that we think that we won't be safe anymore. We will lose all our belongings or we will s somehow lose all our like reputations or things like that. But in the end, the thing that the soul really wants is that it's just that peace. And so when I saw that, like I saw that beautiful like river that I was playing that whole scene of dying, I saw I was back there. And then when I saw that, I cried just like from pure grat gratitude of how we all are safe. Like even let's say like even for a homeless person, they are still safe. You know, I know it's hard to say that, like, and, you know, we want to help them. Like, I want to help them all, you know, if I could. But then we all are safe as human beings. Like, even if we die, we are safe. We can always come home to this. Like, even, like, I was thinking of the worst case scenario. Like, even if there was no, I had no house. Like, I would be safe because, oh, there is nature. Nature will keep us safe, like nature, like you can always be there and it's still paradise, it is still paradise. So the worst case scenario is even paradise in itself. When that becomes the truth for you, then you, be you will become so powerful because you are okay. Like you, you are able to show up in your most expansive state regardless of what this external reality is projecting to you right now it doesn't matter you become a master of your reality the master of creation so uh, what happened was that i would walk through like i wrote down so many journal pages on like just talking with the soul and then the higher self so, so i was playing two characters talking within them and then i saw and later on those higher self or you can say the universe or whatever god source whatever that you believe in it's like okay it's okay we love you and here you are you'll be back into you will be back into this body and we'll give you another chance to live so this is a near-death experience that you can experience yourself like yeah some people, they go through near-death experience to go through a real scenario like this, but it is in within your hands that you can create. So that was what I did. And then I was like, wow, when I got back, even the subtle feelings that I feel in my body, like even this little like tingling in my feet, this little like chill that I get in my arm, like everything becomes like so precious. Even the little air that you get to breathe. Now I want you to also breathe with me. And then uh, breathing out. And then as you breathe in, like you don't have to be doing the same old thing, the bland thing of, of breathing. Like what human being thing is that breathing is this breathing. But what if breathing is consists of like 
as you breathe, you see the energy of, let's see, the little crystals, or you can see little like ice, little speckles or snowflakes, or, you know, you there is like infinite creation at any moment. Like, and that starts from how, even the thoughts that you have, that is where it all begins. And just since after that moment, I'm like, okay, on social media, I'm not going to be the same person even than I was before. I was doing, you know, I was confident. I was expressing like so, you know, like confidence, like through the body, like posing in any other of ways and then all of that. But then the next level of confidence is just going all out and allowing myself to express and allowing myself to not have the human mind be the decision maker all the time. The human mind, the analyzing mind who is like, no, you're supposed to be perfect. You're supposed to give value. Like it's, it's, it's all about, you know, the, the content. It's not just more about the content. It's also the energy. Like I know my soul people, the soul tribe, the soul clients will feel that. And that is what is going to ultimately evolve, transform us in all levels. And when we are in tune with our energy, we won't like everything will just unfold in our result because we are in every day we are in tune with our energy. Like, are we in this energetic state where we are playing like all out going all out so i want you to think after this life that you are watching this i want you to think are you going all out like if you are journaling out there and then you know for most people what happens is you journal and then you write about all your fears your limitations or like your goals and your visions what you're excited about you go through that but then when you are expressing like if you are an entrepreneur, right? And you're, especially when you're on social media, is that matching up to the growth that is happening in the journey, in the journal? Is it matching up? Are the things matching up? You know, or is the real soul that you're feeling in, is it matching up to what you're actually expressing? Because when we are in tune with like this receiving mode, and then we're in tune with that energy, that we're like also expressing, like when the giving, like receiving, and then when we are creating, when they're in sync, we become like a channel. And that is how, that is how the universe was born. Like the universe happens through, yes, first of all, trusting that receiving. And then after that, it is channeling, channeling and confidence. Confidence, That's that was what the word came through me. Confidence is how the universe was born because the universe didn't doubt of its own creative abilities. The universe just like create and all the infinite things happen. So, much, so many, some of them are bad, some of them are right, some of them are like, you know, not so good for the human mind to judge, but it doesn't matter all of that happening and so confidence that confidence is you receiving singing of that receiving to channeling and that is what i'm here to encourage you and to activate you to really be an open channel because when you are in that you become in flow you become so fulfilled that even the things that you have been thought you have been chasing before the money and the fame and the you know the love and all of that like it just it just becomes a side product of it. Because when you're in flow, when you're in there, like your soul is fulfilled. It's like, wow, like so expensive. You feel like, you feel like you are this world. You feel like you are beyond anything that you can imagine. So that is what I want all of you to experience that too. And yes, body, you know, body will be a foundation, solid foundation for that for you to really feel and be in that state. And right now I feel in that state. And then I also still want you, if you're watching this, as you feel, and then you also integrate it within your body and your being. That is what I have for you today, my love. And so if you're watching it, I know that there is one angel in the house. I see that. So if you're watching it, 
if you want, you know, if you want me to also read your soul, if you want me to also uh, share with you how we can expand in your expand that light within, expand that expression within, you know, feel free to write down a vision that you have, a vision that you have in your within your body and or your business. Like within your life, within your life, a vision, a goal that you have in your life. And then I can share with you what I am feeling from your soul. And then so we can then channel together um, on, you know, making you creating your, an epic life that you have. So feel free to write it down in the comments if you want. If not, then I will just leave. So I'll give you a few moments, goddess. Just write it down. What is it that you desire? What is it that you love? Like, what is it that, like, that has been there ever since you were born, ever since you were a child, when you were, like, so playful and when you were so creative, when you were so much in joy? What is it that you want to create? Just write it down, my love. I'll give you a few moments. If not, I am going to hop out and I might even channel some on YouTube. I'll give you a few moments. If not, I'm gonna leave. Thank you so much. I'm gonna say thank you to you, Karen, Karen James, okay. If not, then okay. Bye, love. Love you all.